Today I'm going to talk about external batteries for the GoPro cameras. This one I have here is a GoPro 7 model, but this should apply to almost all GoPro camera models. In this video, I'm going to talk about the type of external battery I'm going to use for my GoPro, how I mount it on my GoPro, and how it performs in real life. Let's get started. Previously, I made a waterproof USB cable connector for my GoPro 7 camera. The internal battery for this camera is really short. I can barely get 20 minutes of recording out of it. So I decided to use an external battery instead. The advantage of using an external battery is that you can use any size you want. In theory, you can have unlimited runtime if you have a battery that's big enough to run the camera. The disadvantage is portability. Because this camera is made to be mounted on a helmet, on your wrist, on your bike's handlebar, the battery has to be small and light. But still, with the external battery setup, it will give you flexibility depending on your recording condition. Say, if you just want to record time lapse, then you're just stationary and you're not moving anywhere. You can install a bigger battery for a longer runtime. But if you're mobile, then you can just swap out a smaller battery and off you go. So first let's talk about the external battery I'm using for my GoPro. This is a Walmart brand 3350mAh capacity USB power bank made by ON. This is hands down the cheapest and the smallest size with the highest capacity I can find. And here is how I mount it on my GoPro camera. I use a small metal bracket with two holes on it and bend it to an L shape. One end I mount on the mounting screw. The other end I mount on a plastic zip tie to secure the battery onto it. Amazingly, one zip tie is enough to hold the battery in place. The zip tie is tight enough to hold the battery in place, yet I can also slide it out to replace with a new battery when this battery runs out of juice. So the question is, how much runtime do I get using a 3350mAh USB power bank? The internal battery for the GoPro camera is about 1.2 amp hour, and this is 3.3, so it's roughly about three times the capacity compared to the internal GoPro battery. So I went up the mountain on a snowboard trip last week. The camera was turned on at 10 o'clock in the morning and lasted until 4 p.m. It was on for six hours straight. It basically lasted for the entire time we were snowboarding up the mountain. I did not turn off the camera at all. Of course, I didn't record the entire time of 6 hours. But when I'm not recording, the camera was on but idle. I set the LCD screen on the back to turn off after 2 minutes. The unit stayed on and the LCD screen on the front stayed on the entire 6 hours. My total recording time was about 1 hour. All in all, this battery is about 3 times the capacity of the internal GoPro battery, but the runtime is way more than 3 times longer. So this is how I mounted on my wrist the whole time I went snowboarding last week. And of course, if I'm not mobile and I need to record time-lapse video, for example, I can just mount my GoPro on a tripod and connect a bigger battery pack on it. This battery is 8 times the capacity compared to this. If this can last for a few hours, this can last for a whole day. And this can last you for a whole week. Want to film time-lapse for a whole month? This will do. That's all for now, folks. My next project is to make an external GoPro battery that's waterproof so I can use my GoPro under the water. I've been working on this project for a few weeks now and still trying to work out the problems. Waterproofing an external battery is quite difficult, but I think I'm getting there and I will show you everything in my next video. Until next time, thanks for watching.
I'm here. It's like a break, I'm tired. Whew.